what do you do with some free wood? I got some free, yeah, that's right, free at work. Guy gave me some five quarter board, look. It's what I need for the window stool. So I'll mark them up like this, A to A. Another mark, another mark. And then I cut a groove right here on the table saw for glue. And then I ran a biscuit machine here in three places so they match up the biscuits that you put in. I don't have one, they're like a tiny football. You glue it, stick the biscuit in, draw it together. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five free window sills. And it's not ideal. Because A, it's not clear and better. Got full of pine knots. But I've got some zinser. Which will block the knots from bleeding through the paint. And uh, ideally, you want clear and better. Not free. And they didn't have any. But I picked some pretty close to at Home Depot. For my last three sills. I can pick the better side. That's pretty good. And that's pretty good just a little touch up there and that one down there will be a notch where it gets notched out for the window so that's good it's got three equivalent to clear and better grade but anyway i made a mess got glue on the floor but it'll pop up but anyway put the bar clamps on the bar for my dad i don't have none of these but um these come in real handy for stuff like this thing glue it and then crank it up tight and then I don't have much of a joint. And when I'm done, I'll take some uh, sandable filler and go over these joints after I sand this all down. It'll be one piece. Once it's painted white, it'll look like one piece like those will. Close to it. You may see a hairline crack. I don't think so, but good enough. And it is what it is. Got most of my, I got my window casing. My cross heads for doors and windows, the window returns, the window return on the head, um, the casings for the doors, the jams that I ripped down slightly and added to because they sell undersized jams for 5 8 sheetrock on your wall. I got 5 8 and a half inch, so I refab these jams to a wider width. And got a little bit of small base for upstairs, maybe. And then the crown mold for the top of the crosshead. I, the only thing I haven't made up is the bead that goes around like that. But I'm going to do that another day. I don't feel like doing nothing else today. That's the only missing link on here is... Uh, is the beading that goes around the crosshead, little half inch radius piece that you uh, stitch on there with little tiny nails, like these little cuties for five eighths of an inch. Anyway, I'm done. Pretty much got windows and doors taken care of throughout the whole house now, so it'll be a matter of getting this done primed painted and shot to the wall and windows and then i can swing doors once i do the mortise and everything i got to do for the lock hinges and strike plate that's another project that's like a weekend project just to do those so i'm not worried about those right now i just want to get the trim everything cased out and then i'll jump into base i got to order some big base from the local lumber yard because home depot does not have anything base over three and a half inches which ain't gonna happen i need a taller profile base in the seven seven inch range for the room up front which is about 50 percent of my trim down there and stringer along the side of the stringers i need a big piece down there too anyway that's it later